Welcome back for another video guys. Today's video we're just going out and about looking for some leaf litter and some white rotten wood. White rotten wood. Check it out, we've already got little bits of blossom kicking on the trees. I love going out for walks. I've got me trust a little rhino bucket and a black bag. Let's see what we can find. So throughout this video you're probably going to hear a lot of background noise as the road because we've got a road just there. But this path here is one that I've always come to. Uh, loads of uh, oak leaves and loads of oak wood and birch wood and beech wood and stuff like that. All hardwoods which are absolutely perfect for some of my animals. Look at that. All the leaf litter on the floor. But this path is um, heavily walked so I'm assuming a few dogs come up here. I've never seen dogs up here but I assume some dogs come up here. Uh, so I don't really want to edge around these corners and stuff just in case there's any dog urine and stuff on it. So we're going to go deeper into the woods. Let's see what we find. Check out that massive abundance of leaf litter, white rotten wood. Oh, this is going to be a good day. We're into the woods and I found this little broken piece of fence. So we're going to go over the fence. Um, nobody's around, there's plenty of leaf litter, but there's also some other stuff. Because the seasons have been unseasonably warm, see all the moss? I'm probably going to get some of that moss as well. But let's go further and deeper into the woods so we can have a look. Ow! Ah, I'm stuck. There we go. Look at all that little bit of moss. Perfect leaf litter. So we just go through, hand by hand, pick the right leaves for the job. Now these are for bioactive enclosures, so they have to be clean of any anything bad, any pesticides, any fertilizers, any dog urine. So we've come deep into the forest now. Obviously we still can hear the road in the background. Stuff like that I wouldn't use. The colours on that just don't show very good. But yeah, again, uh, that's got stuff on it so that's going to decompose quicker. We don't want that. So all the leaf litter picked by Northern Exotics is hand-picked. But look at that one. That'll do. Look at the size of some of these leaves. Got some small ones, some big ones, some round ones. Uh, baby ones every leaf does a good job now that is quality control so guys it's started to rain a little bit now I've got a big tub full of leaves that's gonna do for the leaves for this time being I might go back to the leaves shortly uh, but I'm gonna go around and start looking for a bit of moss now some moss now it's on the forest floor as you can tell there's quite a bit around now, what you do with moss, because what I do is I get a bit of moss, only a little bit, just probably that much. As you can see, it's not much that's come out of it. And then I just jiggle it around a bit to link it all together. So that's always going to be sustainable, and I'm always going to be able to get some next time I come down. So next time I come down, that moss is going to regrow, and it's going to be back there again. I'll take that little piece of moss home, and... I'll grow it. I'll grow it to the size I want and then I'll start reusing it and selling it and stuff like that. It's starting to rain now, but check that out. White rotten wood. It's just a fallen tree branch. So let's see if we can get some of that off. So, you know, if that was proper white rotten wood, rotten enough, that would have fell apart just then. So uh, we're not gonna go for that. I'm gonna let it rot down for another year or so. Now the thing I love about, look at that. Come on, focus, you dozy. European isopods. All the spiders' egg sacs down there. Now that is white rotten wood. However, that belongs to the isopods. So I'll leave that there for them. I don't want to touch that. I don't want to kill habitats from native species. Just keep walking around and seeing what we can find. This time of year, with all the blossom coming up, oh, this is going to be a great year. I wonder where that path goes. Is that a path? I wonder where that goes. Let's go for a little look. Ah, oh, more blossom on the trees. Look at all that. Let's go for a little look. Deforestation, to an extent. It's not a forest, obviously, but that has got to have taken away some habitats from some invertebrates around the UK. Look at the size of that. 
It spans right the way behind the tree. You can probably see the flashing lights from the diggers. Uh, at least it's giving jobs to people, I suppose. Let's carry on. We're down there. Ooh, let's go for a look. Now that's one thing I didn't expect to see. Look at all the little tunnels and stuff. The, an the uh, invertebrates and the animals from over there must have moved over to this side of that river. Let's keep looking. Oh look, we got daffodils. Leave the habitat destroyer, destroyer away. And uh, we'll leave them alone and we'll go somewhere else. Walking along and you see random sticks like that. That is white rotten wood, probably oak or something like that, but I wouldn't touch it simply because it's in the middle of the path. It's chewed up, chances are a dog's chewed it. So um, I'm not gonna go near that one, I'll keep walking. You can't beat the great outdoors. I just wish that noise wasn't in the background. The new grass, is, all the new grass is starting to come up. And I stumble across this, an oak tree. It's only a baby oak tree, mine, just a baby oak tree, but it's got all the leaves on it. Now they are dead leaves just hanging on by a thread. So I'm gonna try and take some of them and uh, that'll give new growth, spur new growth to come through. Let's start. I'm starting to come up on the trees as well. That's absolutely amazing. I love this time of year, let's go. That's that done for today. I've only been out here for an hour and a bit and um, massive bag of leaves. I've got some white rotten wood. Uh, for the grub substrates and stuff like that and I even managed to get some daffodils for the missus she's going to be pleased so guys I hope this has been informational I'm sorry about all the background noise in this video I hate it myself uh, but if you've enjoyed it hit the thumbs up button like subscribe and hit that notification bell just so you get notified next time I do upload a video guys thanks for watching